One of the greatest scientists ever, Sir Albert Einstein said, everything in life is vibration. There is nothing in the universe which does not vibrate. Every single atom, molecule, each bond between atoms, all the particles in the universe, our body, earth, all stars, galaxies, and even the whole universe are all in constant vibration. They all are vibrating at certain frequency. The string theory also says everything in the universe is made up of extremely small one-dimensional vibrating objects known as the strings. It is the vibrational state of the strings which is responsible for mass, charge and other properties of the matter. These strings are the smallest thing in the universe. As all these things are made up of these tiny vibrating strings, it means everything present in the universe vibrates at some frequency. According to the greatest genius of all the time, Nikola Tesla, if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency and vibration. Let's take some examples. Do you know that our whole universe vibrates at the frequency of 432 Hz? And our home planet Earth vibrates at a frequency of 7.83 Hz? This is the natural frequency of the Earth, called as the Schumann Resonance. The natural frequency of Earth protects all living things on the Earth. Therefore, it is necessary for us. This is the reason why astronauts carry Schumann resonance generator in space to keep them mentally and physically fit. You might have observed how our mood changes according to the type of music we listen. We may feel happiness, sadness or different types of emotions depending on the song or music. Do you know that there are certain frequencies that can change our feelings, moods and even physical health? For example, if you hear a low frequency of around 19 Hz, then you will start to feel fear. Although humans are unable to hear such low frequencies, since audible range of humans is from 20 Hz to 20 kHz. But still, frequencies around 19 Hz will produce feelings of anxiety and fear without anyone being able to hear. In the same way, you will feel relaxed and calm in the presence of 432 Hz frequency. Not only this, 432 Hz frequency has many healing effects on your mind and body. This shows how our body reacts to different frequencies. Our human body vibrates at a natural frequency of 7.5 Hz, which is quite close to the natural frequency of the Earth. Do you know that there is a specific frequency associated with a particular emotion? What is the emotion? Emotion is simply E plus motion which means energy in motion. Here you can see a chart that shows the frequencies of different emotions. Higher frequencies means higher vibrations which corresponds to high energy state. In the chart, you can see that good emotions have higher frequencies, while bad emotions have lower frequencies. In the state of enlightenment, the frequency is highest, which is more than 700 Hz. And the emotion of shame corresponds to the lowest frequency of vibration or lowest energy, which is equal to only 20 Hz. At the highest levels of frequencies, like 700 Hz or more, our mind enters into the state of superconsciousness. Superconsciousness is a blissful state of self-realization. This egoless state is beyond the conscious and subconscious states of mind. Friends, I found some interesting things in this chart which helped me in understanding the life in a better way scientifically, especially the frequencies of peace, neutrality and desire drew my attention. Observe that the frequency of peace is the second highest frequency after enlightenment. It shows how peace is at higher level than even joy and love. It means when you are calm, cool and at peace, then you vibrate at higher frequencies in comparison to a person in love or a person enjoying pleasures of worldly things. 
so it is clear by science also that obtaining a peaceful state is more blissful than running after worldly pleasures second emotional frequency that i found interesting was the frequency of neutrality look at the chart and observe that frequency of neutrality is 250 hertz which is higher than the frequencies of courage and pride emotions it means you vibrate at higher frequency or higher energy when you are in neutral state a neutral state frequency is higher as compared to the frequencies of states of courageousness or the moments of pride another frequency of emotion that surprised me is the frequency of desire look at what place this frequency of desire is present in the chart it will show you how bad this seemingly harmless emotion of desire is it has a lower frequency than even the anger we all know how uncontrolled wild and mad a person becomes in anger on the other hand emotion of desire seems so silent and harmless then why the emotion of desire is not desirable and is present at lower position in the chart why is it more evil emotion than the obviously evil emotion of violent anger actually desire is the root cause of all evil emotions and main cause of sorrows in this world all the actions good or bad first start with some desire in our mind anger also arises from unfulfilled desires it is not philosophical the science of our body says it which can be seen in this chart of frequencies of emotions as now we know everything in life is vibration even our mental state and emotions therefore what type of person you are your personality your nature and behavior also depends on types of frequencies that predominate your brain there are repetitive patterns of neural activity in the central nervous system which are called neural oscillations or brain waves now i will tell you some very interesting things about brain waves and their types keep watching the brain contains billions of neurons and these neurons are connected on an average to thousands of other neurons so you can imagine how complex this network of neurons is when a small electrical current passes through the neural network communication takes place between the neurons when large number of neurons are activated simultaneously during communication between the neurons then the electric pulses are produced these electrical pulses can be detected and analyzed by placing electrodes on the scalp this is called as electroencephalography or eeg in short brain waves are categorized into five types based on the frequency of oscillations of the electrical pulses these types are delta theta alpha beta and gamma in the increasing order of frequency the delta brain waves correspond to lowest frequency and highest amplitude electrical pulses while gamma brain waves represent highest frequency with the lowest amplitude pulses here it should be noted that all types of brain waves are present in the brain at the same time but a particular type of brain wave is generally predominant while performing a certain type of activity you can see the comparison between the brain wave types here in this picture let's discuss each type of brain wave in short delta brain waves delta brain waves lie between the frequency range of 0.1 to 3.5 hertz they have lowest frequency and highest amplitude these brain waves are more noticeable when we are sleeping in dreamless state it is considered the healing state delta brain waves are dominant in infants up to 1 year of age information contained in the unconscious mind is accessed through delta brain waves when the level of delta brain waves increases the person becomes less aware of the physical world theta brain waves they have frequency range of 4 to 8 hertz which is higher than delta brain waves 
theta brain waves are repository of emotions, memories, and sensations. It belongs to the state between wakefulness and sleep. These brain waves are related to the subconscious mind. Theta brain waves are strongest in dreaming state. They are found in prominence during deep meditation and daydreaming and also when mind is at deep rest, insightful and in lower conscious state. Theta brain waves are more easily detectable while performing some simple tasks that do not need our attention like brushing teeth, taking shower, etc. Alpha brain waves Alpha brain waves are in the frequency range of 8 to 12 hertz. These brain waves are strongest when we are fully relaxed mentally and physically. Our mood is calm and brain is conscious. They are more noticeable when our eyes are closed. Alpha brain waves seem to bridge conscious and subconscious mind. These brain waves are observed more while performing activities like yoga or tasks that involve creativity. Beta brain waves Beta brain waves belong to the frequency range of 13 to 32 hertz. These brain waves are more easily noticeable while we are involved in active thinking, problem solving, decision making or active conversation. In this stage, our brain is fully alert and awake. Gamma brain waves They fall in the frequency range of 32 to 40 hertz, which is highest in comparison to the frequencies of other types of brain waves. Gamma brain waves are found in every part of the brain. Gamma brain waves are found more in brain when we use the brain to its maximum capacity and are involved deeply in problem solving and calculations. They are more noticeable when heavy processing of information takes place between the neurons in the brain. So friends, these were the five different types of brain waves. Guys, now you can understand how vibrations are everything, how everything is controlled and made up of vibrations. We all, including living or non-living things, are nothing but simply vibrational energies. Friends, this is all that I wanted to tell you in this video. I hope you found the video interesting and informative. If you really liked it, then show it by hitting the like button and sharing the video. For more such videos, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Engineering Made Easy. If you have any doubt or query, then please write in the comments section. Thanks a lot for watching the video till the end. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and take care.